All right, so I already made a video talking about things that I didn't like about Japan. And now this video is gonna be things I liked about Japan, things that I love. Now, there's too many things to list. So I'm just gonna, you know, talk about three things that came to the top of my head. And yeah, let's get started. So number one is the professionalism. And I'm pretty sure this is something you guys have heard about before, probably in other videos, is how professional Japanese workers are in Japan. So when you go visit Japan, you'll notice, you know, going to restaurants, stores, anywhere, man, like the workers are very very professional about everything like they go you know have you heard like have you guys heard about that bullshit like going above and beyond for the customer you know that bullshit when they teach you when you first start a job well nobody follows that some people do but nobody follows that in Japan it seems like 100% of people follow that and it's just like it blows your mind it impressed me you know they were treating me like with like so much respect you know it was just it was just amazing to experience but you can also see like the dark side of that where like you know they're kind of like robots and even though they're acting like professional you can kind of see like they're depressed behind the scenes you know if you really look but anyway, I, I, I'm not gonna talk about that. You know, that's like a whole another topic. Professionalism in Japan, top tier, nothing can beat it. If you go to McDonald's, you know, the food at McDonald's is gonna come out fresh. It's gonna come out, you know, like right off the grill. The, the fries are gonna be like fresh. They go that extra mile with their work. They do everything professional. And when I came back to America, you know, like I went to like a fast food restaurant, you know, the girl that was behind, in America, the one that was behind the register. Like I went up to her, you know, like with a smile, you know, expecting her to be like professional. And she's like, what do you want? And I'm like, oh, I want like the chicken sandwich. She's like, is that all? And I'm like, uh, I also want like some drink, like a drink and some fries. Is that everything? I'm like, geez, man, like, <laughs> come on, America. We gotta step our game up, dude. And then when I received my food, like in America, like after I came back from Japan, like the food like tasted like it was out for like three hours, you know, it was like all hard and like nasty. And I'm like, damn, dude. I, I feel like I really got spoiled in Japan with like how professional they are with like making their food and with the customer service. Well, anyway, let me give you one quick example. So one day me and a few friends, we went to an izakaya, which is kind of like a bar in Japan and we sat down we started drinking we started eating we were conversating having a good time and then one of the workers one of the servers like she was taking some beer to like another table and when she walked by our table she spilled the drinks you know she tripped or something and she like spilled the beer like all over the floor you know she made a mess now the thing is um you know it was on the floor but it was like near our table specifically it was like right behind me so you know I was sitting here and she spilled it like right behind me you know now when she spilled it she didn't get any on me like yeah I was behind me and she was kind of close to me but she didn't get any beer on me you know like I was clean yeah there was some droplets like right on the floor but nothing got on me right like I was good I was good well, anyway um she spilled the drink she started cleaning it up real quick and then she came up to my table and she started apologizing to all of us saying that she was sorry it was a mistake you know apologizing and then she looked at me specifically and then she apologized to me because you know she spilled it right behind me and I'm like dude it's all good don't worry about it you know you didn't get any on any of us and don't worry about it it's all Gucci don't worry it's not a big deal she apologized some more and and then she cleaned and then she left all right so then i continued the conversation with my friends and then like five minutes later she came back with her boss like the owner of the the place we were at and then her boss he came up to me looked at me and then he apologized for her mistake so then both of them were apologizing and then that you know her boss was apologizing for like you know like a minute or something and i'm like dude like <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. Like, like, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal, man. You didn't get any beer on me. Like, yeah, I was behind me, but you didn't disturb me. You know, you didn't get any beer on me. Like, <laughs> you don't have to go that extra mile to like apologize. You know, like it's all good. And like, I was surprised, like her, like getting her boss to come to me and apologize as well. Like, yeah, that just blew my mind. And it just kind of shows, like, I guess, like how professional they are with their work. And if they do disturb a customer, they, I guess, they feel like that, like, like guilty. I guess I don't know, man. But yeah, that's one thing I really enjoyed is like the professionalism, just being treated like good and being treated with respect every time I went out you know so there's the first one all right so number two is a simple one very simple um when you go out with friends and you want to drink alcohol where do you go you go to the bar you go to the club or you go to your friend's house or maybe you go to like a like a concert or something right maybe like a football game now in Japan one thing I really liked is that you can go out and drink alcohol to like there's like many spots but my favorite spots that we don't have here in America or we don't really have a lot is uh izakayas and karaoke now izakayas are places I always went to with my friends and you know it's just a place where you like sit down you chill you know like um, you sit down like um, like old-fashioned Japanese style like where the table is like really low you gotta cross your legs izakayas don't play any music it's just a place where you talk chill there's no music you just drink get wasted and you know eat some food and it, it's kind of like a restaurant in a bar kind of like a cafe kind of like all combined at once so it's a place to chill and just talk hang out with friends and get drunk you know so izakaya is one of my favorite spots to go out and drink carry Karaoke is another spot in America. You know, if you want to do karaoke, you, you go to a bar, you do karaoke in front of everybody. But in Japan, they have so many karaoke spots like on every single
single block. So karaoke spots, you go there, it's kind of like when you go inside the building, it's like a fancy hotel. You know, you rent out a room, you get your own private room to do karaoke, which is amazing. You know, it's just like a hotel, but with like all these private rooms where everybody does like their own private karaoke. If you go with a group of 20 people, you get a big room to do karaoke all together, you know, with your, your big group. If you want to go by yourself, you can, you know, you get like a small private room to do karaoke by yourself. And the thing I really enjoyed about like the karaoke spots is like when you're doing karaoke with your friends, you, you know, you call the phone, like, cause there's like a phone inside like the rooms and you know, you can order alcohol and order food. You know, you're just there singing in a private room, drinking alcohol, eating food, having a good time. And it's really cheap. And you know, it's just, it's just things that I miss about Japan, I guess. And yeah, there are stories about people doing freaky, you know, freaky stuff in the karaoke rooms because you know, <laughs> why not? You know, you're getting wasted in a private room, right? <laughs> <laughs> High five now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, yeah. Uh, number two thing that I liked is like having those options of like besides bars and besides clubs, there are other options to go out with friends and drink alcohol, specifically karaoke and izakayas. Like there's so many of those spots and I always enjoyed going to those. All right, number three. Now number three is one that you will enjoy if you're a anime or manga fan and that is just the cute culture that Japan has incorporated into its country. The cute culture, man. The cute culture you see it everywhere everywhere like I'm let me give you some examples you go out you see an advertisement for like deodorant or like airplane business like whatever man you see an advertisement you see you know Luffy from one piece you know right there in the advertisement advertising like a uh, candy or something you know you're like all right that's cool you go to a donut shop and there's like Pokemon themed donuts with like Pikachu's face on it you go to like a freaking restaurant where they sell like uh, rice and meat and they have like Pokemon themed food you know it's just like damn like the cute culture is everywhere another example is like Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Z is a really old anime that was popular back in the day but you go to a gas station a kombini and you see these little energy drinks with like you know goku gohan and vegeta on the bottle and it's just like dude everywhere you go everywhere you go you see this cute culture stuff you know the gas stations they have like these figures you know giant bossy figures or whatever you know you buy something you draw out of a, they make you draw out of a box and if you like win the grand prize you want like a big goku figure or something like it's amazing man seeing the cute culture everywhere you go to like uh just like a simple store you know you see like uh anime themed pencil book bags it's just it's just everywhere man the supermarket you go to the supermarket and you buy some stupid cabbage you know I, I'm gonna go buy some cabbage you get the cabbage is wrapped in a plastic bag and then on the plastic bag of the cabbage you see a little cabbage anime cartoon thing looking all cute like dude the cute culture is literally everywhere dude and it's amazing to see it and I, you know I enjoy it and I tried telling my friends in Japan like dude you guys have the cute culture going on and they're like what do you mean and I'm like dude like you, you go buy some cabbage and it's like a cute little cabbage guy on the freaking and packaging like that's that's cute culture they're like no it's not that's just normal they're like that's not normal dude are you kidding me you go you go to freaking like uh the donut shop there's like pokemon donuts you know pokemon themed donuts and they're like so they're just donuts but you know japanese friends over there they got used to the cute culture they just see it as like completely normal but man i, I love seeing it everywhere came back to america and it just feels kind of boring here like not seeing like the cutesy stuff everywhere but yeah uh, i guess that's it dude like that's all i wanted to share with you guys um you know let me know what you guys think you know drop a comment drop a like and yeah i'll probably make another video like this soon so yeah stay tuned and yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next one all right peace out